What's up guys? Jordan here again from Blackwater. Today's the next day. It's Tuesday. Um, it's almost 8 a.m. I got up a little early today. It's my last day off. This is my Sunday basically. And I'm running back to the junkyard again as always. Um, I'm going to go back to that GS400 that I got the coilovers off. I'm going to go back and a lot of people told me to grab the taillights. So I'm going to go look at the taillights. I also might take the black steering wheel because it looked like it was in great condition. Uh, I'm about to just run and get some food real quick and then head down that way. But I think I'm also going to head down to another junkyard in Turner, Oregon called Pick Apart. I see that they have at least three SCs. So I'm just going to go see if there's absolutely anything I can um, take that's worth taking. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go check those out. So stay tuned for the video today and hope you guys are enjoying these little updates. Okay, so we finally made it back to the junkyard. And the taillights are still here, but the centers are gone. So the centers are gone. I don't know if it's worth grabbing these, but they look pretty good. I might grab that steering wheel. It looks really nice. And yeah, so we'll go from there. So these do look good condition. They don't look like they're leaking or anything, but I'm gonna have to pull them out first and see. Um, make sure all the bolts are here. All the bolts are there so they're not broken or anything. I'm going to just pull them out and make sure they're all good. And I think I'll grab, I think I'll grab these two. And I, I wish the, the trunk ones were here, but yeah, they're gone. These go for a decent penny on eBay. If they are the eBay ones, I'm not really sure. I'll pull it out. Like I said, I'll have to pull it out and look. Um, these two middle pieces are LED and these two pieces are just regular blinker and I think that's just a marker bulb or a reverse bulb actually but yeah this one's pretty clean Ooh. Tail light number two. Looks pretty good. I decided to pass on the steering wheel. I popped the little covers off and they have these T um, Torx bits. I have Torx bits with me, but the top one is like right up by the dash. And it's gonna be really hard to get. I couldn't even see it. Um, I'll let somebody else grab it that really needs it. I honestly don't even need it. I just thought it was clean and might be good, something good to grab. These are clean. This car is really, was really in good condition. It's sad to see what happens to him, but it is what it is. Here's a, another red 2GS. I believe these are, yeah, they say Toyota on them. So they're just OEM lights. Pretty good condition though. That one's busted. So I think today from Pick and Bowl, I'm just going to leave with these outer tails and this cup holder. And then I'm going to go check out another junkyard in Turner, Oregon, which is a little ways away from here. Oh, wait a second. This is the GS front bumper. Yeah, this is the GS front bumper. What the heck? Oh, I just realized that. Huh. Oh man, <laughs> I was going to buy this yesterday, yesterday, not yesterday, the day before when I came here because ours is kind of bent on the driver corner like I was showing you guys yesterday, but it would be a gold front bumper on our car, so it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I was thinking about taking this fog light because ours has a hole in it. 
I don't know. I think I'll just pass. I, I think I'm just going to grab what I got. I don't want to keep being like, wait, what's this? Should I grab that? Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, my front camera's fucked up. But say goodbye to this GS. I think this is the last time I'm going to see it. Unless for some reason I think of one last thing that I might need while I'm at home. Um, these do not end up in the junkyard often. So I'm thankful I got to come here and grab what I needed off of it. And yeah, so goodbye GS. Stay tuned, we're going to another yard after this. So, I'm a crackhead. I ended up grabbing both fog lights because these are actually really clean, probably cleaner than ours. And our passenger one has like a hole in it, it looks like a rock came up and nailed it. So I just grabbed both. I don't think they'll be too expensive. Um, but I noticed something. Oh, come on, focus. 240. Just wanted to show you guys this real fast. I just picked up this little black uh, cup holder for a SC 400 slash 300 or a SOAR um, for 10 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. So sometimes when you're searching on there, you can find good stuff too, but um, a lot of people like to charge pretty high. Of course, you always just offer lower and they usually take it. But this guy had it up for 10 bucks and I paid 10 bucks. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, I am heading to my next junkyard, pick apart in Turner, Oregon. I'm about to map it and see how far it is. And ooh, can you see that red E30 convertible? I don't know if you can, but. Okay, we just got to pick apart in Turner, Oregon. You can kind of see it behind me. I've actually never been here, so I'm gonna go in and check it out. And literally right away, walked around the corner, found an SC. Check this guy has gold, just like mine. Wet fogs, or wet headlights, I mean, wet fogs. Oh, this one's pretty trashed. It's a tail light from another car. I don't think there's anything worth grabbing on this. IS300. Set my stuff down. Ooh, black interior, but it's all moldy. Very moldy. Oh man, this one got in a bad wreck. Let's check out the front. Oh man. Another gold SC. Whoa. This one's got pinstriping. I'm trying to find one with black interior, but this yard is kind of got a lot of broken stuff. This one's got a sunroof. Well, shout out to the gold SCs though. It's got one headlight. Looks crusty. High beams broken. Little corner lights are broken. Oh man, this one has some decent cars, but they're all fucked up. Seats fucked up. Okay, again, we're gonna move on from this one. Here's an LS400. I'm not even gonna really waste my time looking at it. I wonder if the starter's any good. She's under there though. It's like a, that grayish color. Ooh. Oh, crusty, crusty interior. It's like that grayish, I don't even know, like brownish red interior. Okay, I'm actually surprised how many SCs there are. So far, this is the third one. This one's green. This one's a little bit nicer, but still insanely fucked up. Holy shit, they just got like a Solara sitting here. Oh, there's a white one too. Wow. No motor. Holy shit. This one still has like a wheel on it. Holy shit, man, this thing got fucked up. These lights are so fogged, so, so, so fogged. This one got brutalized. Okay, on to my like sixth SC here. Another one, 
power steering rack. I mean, gray interior. Gray on gray. Subframe. Looks like a nice subframe, honestly. I, I don't have a use for a subframe, though. These pieces are hard to find. Not bent condition. That one honestly kind of looks bent, though. I'll make my way to the back here. I can't, I've, I've never seen this many FCs in a junkyard. I, I seriously haven't. But they're all just trashed. Oh, this one's a 300. Oh, that has a 300 diff. That looks like leaking like crazy. Oh. All right, my battery's going kind of low, guys. I'm gonna only film what's good from here on out. I'm only gonna see if there's anything worth grabbing. I'm gonna put this away. Oh, there's a GS300 right here. <laughs> this mangled dude with some different seats in there and whatnot. I'm just showing you guys my junkyard finds today. I know they're not that exciting, but I'm kind of blown away by how many. Oh my god, this guy must have been wrapped around a tree or something, dude. Holy crap. Hey, the 2J's still here. BVTI 2J. Nice, nice. Sad. Okay, this is officially the last clip of this video. I uh, just now made it home. I actually turned around and went back to pick and pull because that pick apart uh, junkyard kind of kind of didn't impress me. A lot of the cars, they had like five SCs, right? But they look like they've been seen out for almost a year. And so like they had spider webs in them. The windows were rolled down. They like a lot of the interior looked moldy. I mean, there was really almost nothing salvageable off the cars that was worth taking. So um, they had two GS 300s, second gen. They had a first gen LS 400, a second gen LS 400, and then like four or five SCs that were all like 92 to 94s. But like I said, nothing was worth taking. But I ended up with some good stuff today. I got these LED second gen GS tails. I went and picked up this black cup holder for an SC off um, Facebook Marketplace. I got this cup holder for the first gen GS that we have and these two fog lights for the first gen GS that we have, which are a lot cleaner than ours. Ours got a rock chip that shot right through the middle. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video now. I got Kiro behind me. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more Blackwater videos. Seriously, peace out.